broadly, the technology of dental implants hasn't changed greatly since their inception in the sense that we're still using titanium. Um, it's still specially prepared to allow the bone to grow up against it. The changes are more akin to engineering and bioengineering than they are to particularly the technology of a titanium implant itself. So over the years, the special coating that supply or preparation to the surface of the implant has changed. Over the years, where the implant is placed in relation to the jaw bone level has changed. Over the years, the threading of the implant has varied in depth and width. We've changed various mechanisms for linking to the implant. We've tried internal facilities, we've tried external facilities, uh, and it's a constantly evolving engineering spectrum. But the broad technology change that has affected implants has been in the connections to the tooth that we restore and in the manufacturing of the tooth that we restore. So implants, uh, as a technology shift, have allowed us to replace missing teeth. The current technology shift is taking place in the manufacturing of your final restoration. So we're introducing 3D manufacturing facilities, we're introducing 3D uh, manufacturing of the zirconia crowns, for example, uh, similarly 3D manufacturing of the customized posts that fit inside the implants. And I'm sure the next big step will be that based on our scanning of the jaw, we will individually manufacture a dental implant probably within 10 years to order.